Alrighty, well, hello, sinners. How are you? On today's installment of the Letterboard of Truth, our quote of the day is, oh wow, TLC, the learning channel. But what exactly are we learning? Maybe that me and you, we're doing okay. And also how TLC likes to exploit people's mommy issues. Woo! We're gonna be reacting to a new TLC show called Smothered. Side note, don't you just love how some of my videos are just us watching TV together? That's so fun. One thing about me is that I love watching TV with my sinners. Smothered is not new per se. It's been around since 2019, but it is new to me. In all my years of creating, producing, and starring in my hit series, hey, let's not Kiss your family. You'd think that I would have seen Smother by now. Let me give you a quick summary of Smother, just in case you've also never seen the show. If you thought you knew what the phrase like mother, like daughter meant, just wait until Smothered makes its premiere. A fresh twist on family programming. Smothered follows four outrageous mother-daughter duos who take their bonds to the extreme. So instead of exploring incestuous mother-son relationships like on I Love a Mama's Boy, Smothered focuses on the enmeshment between these mother-daughter duos. And like I said, up until this moment, I was blissfully unaware of the contents of the show. You can imagine my surprise when I typed Smothered into the YouTube search bar and saw this as one of the top results. Mom Lisa inseminates daughter Lauren behind her wife's back. Holy shit! Laura Lee and Lauren have been trying to get pregnant without any luck. Now Lauren calls in her mother to help her with a big secret plan. I don't understand this. I don't understand how or why Lauren's mom is gonna inseminate her. I get being close to your mother, but Jesus Christ, this... What the fuck? I was so tempted to just watch the full clip because I desperately needed context. I don't want this to turn out how I think it's gonna turn out, but I held off just for you because I want you all to see my authentic reaction. It's gonna get real weird though. This is further proof that we shouldn't know this much about each other. I shouldn't know your mother filled a turkey baster with someone's semen and shoved it inside your hoo-ha. While Lauren and her mother are willingly sharing their private information, there's a way to protect yours. Did you know that you can find anything or anyone on the internet? Your legal name, personal email, home address, phone number, and even your relatives are up for grabs for anyone to find. I put this to the test by searching my mom's name and rest assured our home address was out there for the world to see. Knowing how easy it is to find sensitive information like that is unsettling to say the least. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocalls, scammers, telemarketers, and anyone who wants to learn more about you. To help you combat this issue, I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura will identify data brokers who are exposing your information and automatically send opt-out requests on your behalf. This was the first thing I did when I signed up and Aura found 25 different data brokers using my personal information. Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web. Apparently, this is also something that's affected me as recent as a couple months ago when my personal email address was found in a data breach from Twitter. As someone who makes a living on social media and uses Twitter to promote my content, I was not happy when I found this out. This is why I'm so grateful that a company like Aura exists because they have almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Aura's app features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and malware protection for your devices. Let Aura do all the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial using my link. So go to Aura.com slash Annemarie to claim your free trial. That's Aura.com slash Annemarie. You'll be shocked at how much of your personal information Aura finds exposed in those two weeks. My link will be at the top of the description, so feel free to click that, or you can just scan this QR code. See, 
This is just one of many ways Aura makes things easier for you. So thank you very much to Aura for supporting the channel and making sure my viewers at home are safe online. Now, let's get back to your scheduled programming. You know, I'm already filled with rage, but the sooner we watch, the sooner we'll get this over with. So ladies and germs, I present to you a mother filling her daughter up. Ooh, sounds like I'm watching like an adult film. Oh, it smells good. They're ready to eat. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff to do. Mm. Sweet potato soup. Not that that's what we're here for. We want to see this mother fill up her daughter with cum. Oh. Kayla should be here in a minute, hopefully. Are they lesbians? Is that Lauren's wife? <gasps> let's go, lesbians. Let's go. Hey, guys. Hey, there hey. you are. Hi, hey. Kayla. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that. Thank you. I'm sorry. Kenny's family had always done Sunday dinners, and we just started taking over and doing them at our home. Shrimp, onion rings. Ooh, is this like a like a Thanksgiving meal? It pulled out all the stops for this. Tonight's a little bit awkward because Laura and I have a secret. In the garage, we have sperm that we're going to use for an insemination in the morning. Ah! Ooh, better check where that baster has been. Whose sperm is it? Is it like someone they know? Can you just do like a pickup at the sperm bank? I really don't know how this works. In fact, I probably should given that I'm a lesbian and my partner and I might want to have kids in the future. Like, did they get it via Instacart, DoorDash, Uber Eats? It's more important to take advantage of this opportunity than worry about what Laura Lee thinks. 46 seconds in and we're already like at the climax. <laughs> Oh, instead of let's go lesbians, it's more like, ah, please stop lesbians. You can't just do an IVF at home behind Laura Lee's back and expect her to just be okay with it. I can't believe I'm saying this. Don't do this at home. Please do not do this at home. Lauren gets pregnant, she'll be more than happy. Whose sperm is impregnating Lauren though? We still haven't found out who this mystery person is. I'm sure we'll get more context. I'm just being goofy. Not much you want first. Couple pieces. You just, you just hand um, yeah, just get me some. Keep it. At least the dinner looks pretty good. Like those onion rings, amazing. Mom, you want some sausage? It was the night before insemination. <laughs> my mother and my sister are very close. They tend to do things without including me. Like, get pregnant? Woo! Ooh. I know we're like only a minute into this clip, but this might be the worst thing TLC has filmed. And we watched some dude buy lingerie for his mother. I could see me wearing that too. I can too. Um, I call my mom and they're out to dinner. They've planned vacations before and asked me to watch their dogs for them. And it just really hurts. So Kayla's like the black sheep out of the family. That's like kind of sad. You brought these kids into this world. Why not spend time with them if you have a good relationship? Like if you want both daughters in your life, you should treat them equally and treat them with respect and love and compassion and can include them on vacations. I'm sure Kayla will want to be left out of this next activity though. Just have a feeling. My mom and I are planning my sister's wedding because my sister just, she doesn't have the vision that we do. She'll say like, oh, I like this venue, but it's so ugly. I mean, it's got red walls. No, this is not a gothic wedding. What do you have against red walls, Lauren? <laughs> I mean, they're better than this bright blue wall I picked out when I was 14. But how are you gonna say that Kayla shouldn't be picking out her own decor for her own wedding? Are you getting married? If she likes that venue, then so be it. It's not your wedding, babe. I just don't like how they're making Kayla the third wheel in all of this. I mean, I'm sure this is something she's dealt with for her entire life. I'm very curious to hear from Lauren's wife, though. We haven't heard a peep from her yet. Okay, so y'all don't like the hotel. Here's a good note. No. And whose wedding is this again? You tell them, Kayla. I fucking love you, Kayla. Laura Lee pointed at the mom like she knows she knows Lisa runs the show when my mother and my sister are together It's it's pretty much the Lisa and Lauren show even if it's Kayla's wedding Come on. This is supposed to be the happiest day of her life if she wants red walls at her fucking reception Then so be it. You're literally about to inject semen into your daughter I think you can handle red walls in a hotel you don't like then we can just elope. It's fine. No, no 
You know mom is not gonna let that happen. You know, y'all aren't in charge here. It's my wedding, it's not your wedding. Go off, Kayla. When we got married, it was their wedding, not ours, so good luck. Oh, You're right about that. Is Laura Lee the other woman in her own marriage? Oh. Get my bestie Laura Lee out of there and take Kayla too. And it turned out perfect, so I don't hear any complaints. Yeah. You don't hear him. <laughs> you could tell she's heard it from Lauren for a very long time. Sounds like somebody's complaining. I was just told to show up on the date they set. In every And you did a good job of great. doing it. I did. I showed up. Mm -hmm. I showed up. I showed up. And it worked out great. And that's just what you have to do to get through dealing with Lauren and Lisa. You're right. Mm -hmm. I don't like how Miss Lisa's butting in to her children's romantic lives. Ugh. At the beginning, what, they said Lauren was like 27, plenty old enough to make her own decision. I assume Laura Lee is around the same age. I assume Kayla is around the same age as well. It's one thing to give guidance. It's one thing to give advice. But to turn it into your own wedding when it's supposed to be your daughter's wedding, it seems like you're trying to relive the past a bit, don't you think? All right, let's get to the semen. I want to see some semen. First time I've ever said that. <laughs> I love Laura Lee's face here. My personal favorites, Laura Lee and Kayla, obviously we stand. What's the dude's name? Who cares? Lisa and Lauren, get some help. Her and her mom are married together. That's the way I feel about it. I'm just a third wheel. I get tag along sometimes. I get to live in the house that they pick out and decorate. Laura Lee, I'm so sorry. This is not okay. This is creepy. And meanwhile, Laura Lee doesn't even know the half of it. Lauren and Lisa, they're scheming behind the scenes, implanting sperm into, you know, you know the birds and bees. How's it going trying to get pregnant? Are y'all trying anything new? Oh, they're trying something new, all right. Uh, well, Kayla knows. She's like, they're up to some f shit tonight. Currently, it's it's been pretty stressful. You know, obviously, it's not working out between us two, so we got to think, you know, differently. Yeah. Taking a break's probably the best right now. Oh, you sure about that? As a fellow lesbian, I can imagine how stressful and disappointing, you know, trying to have a baby is when you're two cis women. Like, I know if my partner and I decide to get married and have kids, you know, the getting married part is going to be easy, but the having kids, you know, if we decide to do that, that's going to be a struggle. Given that we are cis women and we need some biological intervention in order to make a baby happen. You know, despite my beef with Lauren right now, I'm sure this process has been very difficult for her too. Lisa looks guilty as f So are you saying that you have a low sperm count? <laughs> so far, the doctor says zero. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I've been taking vitamins and everything. Yeah. You gotta wear loose underwear. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you know, it? That's, that's the problem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was like such a dad response to all that. I love it. I haven't told Laura Lee about my plans to inseminate with my mom. Ooh. How do you just say that on national television? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go inseminate with my mom tonight. Sorry, I can't go out with you tonight. Sorry, I can't watch a movie with you tonight, Laura Lee. I have to go get pregnant with my mother. Do you not realize how nuts that sounds? Come on. Because I just don't think that she will ever understand. I mean, at this point, I really feel desperate to start our family. I'm sure Laura Lee gets it too, because she's trying with you. She's your wife. You know, she wants to raise a family with you. I'm sure she would understand Stand if you just communicated without your mother, without the syringe waiting in the garage filled with somebody semen. I just want my kids to be able to know y'all and to love y'all. We're and so young. I know, <laughs> but for as long as possible. I just don't know, like, I just don't know why it's not working. I'm not really familiar with, you know, alternative ways to conceive besides, you know, the natural way, the way God intended. But yeah, I'm sure it's been hard, but I don't think the solution is to do it yourself, to do it at home. No. no. Don't cry, sweetie. It's gonna happen, okay? <laughs> 
Not the dad crying too. I do feel for Lauren though, cause I'm sure she and Laura Lee wish that they could have the ability to conceive a child just like heterosexual couples, but they have this like extra hurdle they have to jump over. I'm sure it sucks. I feel like the pressure's definitely on for this cycle because I don't want to continue to have this live from Laura Lee, but also I don't really want to tell her unless I have to. Bad move, mm -mm, bad move. This is a big step in life, like having a kid, it's not just like having like the sweet, you know, cute little baby. Like for the next 18 plus years, you're booked, honey. Your schedule is filled. This is gonna be a baby you're raising with your wife, not your mother. Sure, your mother will play the important role of the grandmother and it's important for her and her husband to be there. But ultimately it's you and your wife's kid. You're gonna be raising it together and you should be honest about the conception methods. To leave Laura Lee in the dark like that, that's not right. I wouldn't be happy if I was in Laura Lee's position. Is that like a cooler? A gas tank? What the fuck is that? They're really gonna do this, huh? My mama is so ready for me to be pregnant. I mean, we talk about it all the time. I think if- What is this? Did you stop at the medical supply store? Why do you have like a whole like surgeon's table ready to go in your bedroom? Yeah, maybe your mom wants you to be pregnant. Maybe she wants a grandchild, but ultimately that's not her decision. The final decision should be between you and Laura Lee, between the other mother of your baby. This isn't just some news you can drop one day. Like Laura Lee is gonna take it hard. She seems like a very sensitive, sweet, soft person. This is gonna fuck her up. The fact that you went behind her back like this and did a DIY insemination at home, like what part of you thinks this is a good idea? I told Laura Lee that I didn't wanna step back from our fertility journey, that she would be the one that would want to inseminate me. And I definitely think that she would have an issue knowing that it's my mom doing so. Yeah for a lot of reasons. First of all, it takes away that moment between you and your wife. And also it's your mother. I just want to give this a try. I just want to see maybe, you know, maybe my mom is a missing piece. Ugh! Put down the turkey baster, put down the syringe, go get Laura Lee and don't inseminate your daughter. I can't believe it. We're going to watch Lisa shove a syringe in her daughter's cooch. Could you imagine if dad came home right now? He would freak out for sure. It's fine if you air it on national TV, but God forbid someone walks in right now. Didn't think you'd be doing this for a grandkid, did you? No, not at all. <laughs> what is that? I mean, it is soft. <laughs> Have you ever had anything this size inside of you? Oh my God, mom! <laughs> Sorry, I needed to make sure I didn't throw up a little bit. She's really about to spread eagle on the learning channel. This is what's happening. Kia. That's my girlfriend. If you're watching, we're not doing this. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. I'm excited that I'm able to share this experience with Lauren, something that most mothers don't get to do. For good reason, Lisa. I think this is the most upset I've gotten during one of these videos. Not even just upset, pure anger, rage. She's got the Apple Watch too. Got to make sure she tracks this workout. I gave her life, so now I get to put it inside of her. <laughs> What the f Mom, we are not gonna use that. Okay. <laughs> Is that a dildo? Was she gonna put a, a dildo in her... I need to watch. I am a proud lesbian woman. I do not need anything shaped like a penis anywhere near me. Bless her heart. I think my mama just doesn't know how to make a baby without one. Proud that you're proud to be a lesbian. I hear you as a fellow lesbian, but also as a fellow lesbian, I would never let a family member, much less my mother, do this. The fact that your mother was more than willing to shove some pink phallic looking thing inside you was very concerning. It has me sad for Lauren. This is weird. This is weird. Right, there's the baby juice. Is that like cryogenically frozen sperm? This is wild, dude. Oh my God, don't call it juice. <laughs> <laughs> if Laura Lee were to know that we were doing this or walk in, you know, come to the house and realize what was going on, she would flip out. I mean, she would really freak out. She already thinks we're too close. 
then why do this? Why betray her trust? Why? Why? That should have been the letter board of truth. <laughs> Oh my god, she's spreading eagle on the learning channel. Oh my god. Spread your legs. All right. Oh my god. Wear her gloves. Not that I'm saying that Lisa should be doing this in the first place, but at least put on gloves. Some sort of mask, maybe. You really just like laid down some like old sheet on your bed and just said to Lauren, open wide. <laughs> Here I come. Like, you're not even going to put down a towel. All right, just keep yeah. still. Keep still. Hold still. Mama's coming. I want to make sure we get it all in there. Okay. Does it feel like it's all the way in? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's in. Okay. <sighs> just keep still. Okay. Don't be stressed. You got to think happy baby thoughts. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate okay, this. Okay, I'm about this. to squirt this. in the baby juice. Okay. Ugh, stop calling it baby juice. I feel violated and I don't even know these people. Is this illegal? That's my question. Like, are you just allowed to take the sperm home? Can you get in trouble for this? I feel like there's at least like a fine or something that you can get for doing this at home. Like without gloves too? Relax. Okay, I can feel it. Okay. How can she relax? You're literally shoving a syringe inside your daughter. <laughs> yeah, okay, relax. All right, Lisa. I hate this scene. I hate this. I hate this. Am I going to be able to monetize this video? What's their face, Susan? No, she left. Neil, Neil, sweetie, don't flag this video, but also... Sorry, this is what nightmares are made of. This screenshot right here, yeah, that's what nightmares are made of. Are you almost done? <sighs> yep, it's done, okay. Why does Lisa look like pleased and like satisfied with this procedure? Like she's getting off from this. Like, oh, they did put a towel down. <laughs> Anyway, this is weird. Like you should not be deriving pleasure from inseminating your daughter. Oh God, I never want to say that again. Okay, now stay in that position. Okay. <sighs> and how long do I have to stay like this? For at least 30 minutes. <sighs> oh my gosh. So now they're just gonna hang out? Like, yeah, let's just throw on like Desperate Housewives. Let's watch Stranger Things or something like that. Let's just kick back and relax while the sperm is settling in your ovaries. I don't know. Just relax, calm down. We may have just made a baby. Yeah, f that dude. Again, Lisa's like happy throughout all of this. Like she looks like, please. Like she's so happy that she got to be the one to insert it in her daughter and not Laura Lee, her wife. I'm not gonna speculate. It's not my place legally, personally, morally, ethically, emotionally. It's not my place, but. Mmm, nasty. That is nasty. I think that our bond is stronger than the bond that I share with Laura Lee. I love Laura Lee to death, but it's just not the same type of bond. Like Lisa is clearly getting in the way of their marriage. Now I think I'm going a little hard on Lauren just cause this situation right here is so horrifying, but just like the gentleman and I love a mama's boy, they're just used to this dynamic. So maybe they don't see it as weird as we do, as f***ed up as we do. At the end of the day, Lauren is a victim in all of this and I'm sorry for going so hard on her. I don't like the lying, but also like ultimately Lisa is at most fault here. Yeah, I think it's very different. <laughs> it's stronger because she's come from me, you know, she's part of me. It's like the circle of life, you know, she came from you and now you came, mm, no, never mind. Like, I'm not saying you can't be close with your daughter. I think that's good. I think it's good to have a healthy relationship with your child, emphasis on healthy, but I think reasonable boundaries and limits need to be set. And it's sad that Lauren wasn't given the tools in life to be able to stand up for herself and know when to draw the line. I feel even worse for Laura Lee because she has to find this out, I assume, after this happened. And I'm sure she will feel a whole lot of feelings. I just wanna be a mom so bad. Like, I just want to be like the mom that you've been to me. Yeah. I've been trying for so long. No, I'm sorry, babe. I 
mean, it is sad. Like I said, I do feel bad for Lauren and my heart goes out to her and Laura Lee. It's just a messed up situation all around. And I know I should be happy for my friends when they tell us that what they're expecting, but I get so upset. I know, I know. I have to like hide that from them. I know. It's gonna happen. We, it just, it's just gonna take longer, that's all. All right, we've had enough of that. Not that I've held back at all in the past several minutes, but what are my final thoughts? Lisa needs to back the f off, free my besties, Laura Lee and Kayla. And I hope Lauren has watched this back and realized how messed up the whole situation is. You know, while Laura Lee is also a victim of the lies, Lauren is also a victim of Lisa's behavior. Like, I get wanting to be close to your daughter. I get wanting to be involved. And I don't think there's anything wrong with giving guidance. But there's a point where, as a parent, you got to back off. But I do think this goes a lot deeper than what we see. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure y'all are going to have a lot to say at home about what we just watched. So please feel free to leave any and all your thoughts and opinions in the comments. If there are any other clips or TLC shows you would like me to check out in the future, let me know down below. In general, if there's anything you would like to see me talk about going forward, I have a Google form linked in the description where you could submit potential video ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I guess, sorry, but also thank you. For whatever reason, like this video, make sure to give it a tiny, tiny thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys and I'll see you soon with a brand new video.